This is the most efficient grid tie inverter system you could build. And when I say most efficient, uh, I mean financially. Um, these are Chinese grid tie inverters, 350 watts each. And these are the cheapest ones you could find. They're around $60. I'm going to put a link at the bottom of the video, but they're about $60 each. And this system already paid itself off. Um, since last time I reset the uh, power meter, I have $60 or $70 produced uh, via this system. So why is this is the cheapest? Um, and, and I've used quotes uh, when I said the cheapest. Um, not only that these are very, very affordable, but also uh, it's made out of scraps. So this is a scrap fan, scrap fan that I had around the house. You don't have to cool them, but if you cool them, they last a lot longer. So when I built this particular system, I had both fed by the by this fan, but then I've changed it so I have two fans on it. It only runs on nine volts, so I only change it to nine volts, so I have less RPM, uh, but then these fans are just pushing air over the bottom and the sides gets really, really hot. That's the part that you want to cool off. The top is not that is important. So um, there is a plenty of room under for the fan to push air through and then just keep these things cooler. They will last a lot longer. So I have them running for a year now and, and, and then running really, really well. And why is this system most efficient? It's because it's made out of scrap. These are all leftover parts uh, that I had laying around in the garage. And even the solar panels are... Um, retrieved from Craigslist and offer up and Facebook marketplace for very, very cheap. So when I say the most efficient is that uh, solar panels is really, really expensive if you build your own. But the one that I've built out of scrap panels and all kinds of bits and pieces, uh, it works really, really well because you get your money back much faster. Now, this is 350, 350. So I could produce about 500 watts, 600 watts with the solar panels that I have right now. And that's because there's a lot of drop in efficiency when they get really, really hot in winter. I produce more, but then uh, there is less sun because the sun is uh, at a different angle. So even though I had a 750, 800 watt, I'm only producing 500, 550 just because there's a lot of losses in solar panels. If you haven't watched my video as far as that goes, 40%, sometimes I'm losing in summertime, 40% when they get really, really hot. And in wintertime is because they get, the sun gets lower, then you have a lot less uh, light during the day. Uh, this system produces about three kilowatts a day to four kilowatts a day, depends on the day, um, how sunny it is. So um, my house uses about 10 kilowatts. So um, I will up it in time, but for now this, this works really, really well as far as what I need. Um, today what I did is I serviced this unit. Um, this is going to go back on the wall and uh, we're going to produce a little bit more electricity.